By now you are aware that we need to close loops in order to create a circular economy and a sustainable future. But closed loops only work if there is a proper business model that guarantees its profitability in the long run. In a closed loop we can identify three main business processes that connect with one another. The first one is acquisitioning of used products and materials. You need to collect the right volumes of the right quality and for a reasonable price. For instance, material recycling only works with large volumes because recycling facilities are expensive and they need to run continuously. Refurbishing is feasible with smaller volumes, but here it's crucial that the returned products are of sufficient quality. So testing and sorting are very crucial. The second key business process is reprocessing. Used products and materials need to be reworked into products and materials of sufficient quality for a reasonable price. This can of course be done at the material level, but much more value can be gained if done at the component or product level. For example, it is more profitable to refill inked cartridges than to recycle its materials. Components can be remanufactured and used as spare parts, which is much cheaper than manufacturing new ones. The final business process is remarketing. That is, identifying markets that want to buy the reprocessed products. Recycled materials of high quality can be used for the manufacture of new products, while refurbished products can target secondary markets against a lower price. But beware, if any of the three key business processes fails, we do not have a closed loop. So apart from the technological challenges that are addressed elsewhere in this course, a company needs to offer proper incentives and infrastructure to users to return their used products. Cell phones, for instance, are technically very easy to refurbish. You just replace the battery, the casing, and you wipe the data. Remarketing them is also not a problem. Almost the whole globe has cell phone coverage, but a large portion of the globe's population just cannot afford to buy a new cell phone. The real challenge then is to get them back. A surprisingly small amount of cell phone users know that they can sell back their used products for 100 euros or more. As yet another example, the recycling of concrete is technically feasible and cost-efficient. The real challenge again is acquisition. Concrete recyclers do not have direct access to used concrete and it's therefore hard to get the right volume and the right quality. Remarketing is also a challenge since legislation limits the use of recycled content in concrete while a higher content is nowadays safe and technically feasible. So summarizing, Closing the loop is not just about technical feasibility. The challenges often lie in designing the right business processes.